Is it possible to naturally boost your libido? Are there things that you can do to increase thoughts of intimacy so that you can have a stronger relationship with yourself or with your partner? The answer is absolutely yes there is. And in this week's video, I'm gonna share three big things that you can do right away to help to naturally boost your libido. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Heather Hirsch. And if you are not new, you're probably wondering what is with the new setup. And I'm gonna be telling you all the details over on my other social media platforms. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'm at Heather Hirsch MD. But without further ado, let's get into the big three tips for this week's video. One of the rate limiting factors or the rate limiting steps in wanting to have sex is pain. If it's painful, if it hurts, if it's dry, your desire is going to be low. Why? Because it's going to hurt. Sometimes my patients will tell me it hurts during intercourse, and sometimes they'll even say it can hurt for two or three days afterwards. Or women will get urinary tract infections very frequently post intercourse, meaning they have to call the doctor, go to the doctor, provide a urine sample, and possibly start on an antibiotic. Now, all of that is due to the change in the pH that women experience postmenopausally, and actually even earlier, this can be experienced while you're at the end of perimenopause. What's happening is that as we're losing estrogen, the epithelial lining of the vagina, the vulva, and the clitoris is actually all the same, are changing. They're becoming atrophic, thin, pale, and dry. So if there's no pleasure, there is no driving force to engage in sexual activity. So one of the things that you can do is you can consider vaginal estrogens. And I have a whole video here that I did on all the different types of products. But something that you can get started on today is using a vaginal moisturizer. One of my favorite over-the-counter vaginal moisturizers is Hydrate Ever After from Sweet Spots Labs. And I can tell you this because I have been using it myself. Just like we put moisturizers, ladies, on our face every single day, and you couldn't imagine probably not putting your moisturizer on when you get out of the shower, your vulva needs the same. And we definitely don't give our genital urinary tract and pelvis the same attention that our face does, but that in itself can be a really big mistake. Something like Hydrate Ever After is going to help to lock in moisture. It's gonna actually help to thicken the barrier of your skin and that epithelial lining so that it isn't so thin, it's not as easy to crack or to bleed. This then even helps to reduce that burning, that stinging, and that itching irritation a lot of women have during intercourse and then for days afterwards. A good vaginal moisturizer, something like the Hydrate Ever After, you can use absolutely everywhere. Really, take it from me, you just gotta kinda splash it on, and I personally do this every day after the shower. I'm already ready to go. Put a little bit on your fingers, you can put it on the vulva, on the labia, and even inside that introitus, which is the area that often feels the most pain upon insertion if you have a male partner. Okay, now post-sex, if you do have any irritation, then I recommend this guy, Rescue Bomb, also from Sweet Spots Labs. It's such a great compliment to the Hydrate Ever After. So I highly suggest putting this on right before bed. Let the colloid oatmeal almond oil and zinc oxide work its magic. I've been using Sweet Spot Labs products for months and absolutely love them. What I love about Sweet Spots is that their products are clean, 100% naturally derived, and clinically proven to be non-irritating on Sweet Spots. So go ahead and use it wherever you need relief. All the products will be linked in the description below and you can check out sweetspotlabs.com for more. The second thing that I recommend to my patients is an app called Meet Rosie. And I'm so excited to say that the CEO and founder of Meet Rosie, Lindsay Harper, is a good friend of mine. She's a gynecologist who realized that there were no resources for women who reported low libido, low desire. Now, hypoactive sexual desire disorder is the medical term, and it really means if you have low libido combined with distress from this, 
that actually means you have a medical diagnosis. Just having low libido and it not being stressful is not something that you have to fix. But if you're interested again, the Meet Rosie app is really great and let me tell you why. So Meet Rosie is an online community for women with all different types of sexual disorders, whether it's libido and there's also arousal and orgasm and all types of other issues like pain or endometriosis. All women come together to talk and communicate and open the dialogue about their sexual health concerns. What I really like about Rosie, not only is there a lot of educational content and community forums, but there is something I like to talk to my patients about, erotica. You can read erotica. Lindsay always says there's five different spice levels from spice level one all the way up to spice level five. But reading erotica is actually something you can do right away to boost your libido. What it does is it reminds your brain that sex is exciting, sex is fun. And just like a muscle, if you don't use your muscles at the gym, you start to lose them. If we don't use those synapses in our brain that remind us that sex is pleasurable and fun, we can lose them. So I want you to read erotica. The reason I like reading erotica is I think it's a safer space, particularly for women. That means you can create whatever visual that feels comfortable to you or whatever visual that excites you and you don't have to watch it. If you like watching, watch, but I really recommend universally reading some light erotica, which you can do on the Meet Rosie app. And thirdly, another way to naturally boost your libido is to exercise, get moving, get sweating, and here's why. Exercise, just like reading erotica, can help increase dopamine in our brain. It's the happy hormone that rewards us for doing things that we are teaching ourselves that we like. If you've ever heard of the runner's high, that's really because the brain is getting so much dopamine, that happy hormone reminding the body that this feels so good. Exercise is another way to increase dopamine and really just give your body some of that hormone. Dopamine is a hormone that also increases after sex. It's that reward hormone. It's that, yes, this is pleasure you should do that. Again, the reason you want to make sure you're using a moisturizer so it doesn't hurt, so you get a reward for doing that kind of activity. Exercise also probably boosts testosterone, um, which is your androgen. So it's a myth that testosterone is for men. Testosterone is for women and men. It's just that women make 10 times less than men, but boosting testosterone can be really helpful to trigger uh, libido. So you can do this by lifting weights, which is definitely something I recommend for all postmenopausal women to keep your bones really strong. It can also be cardio, but be sure it's not just full on cardio. That's not gonna give you as much of a boost in that muscle mass, that change in definition, that shape that you might like to see, as well as really giving you that testosterone boost. Bonus points if you exercise with your partner, because that can be a really fun way to create some intimacy, to create some memories and some moments. And there's lots of sexy positions while you're exercising. I want to know what your favorite tips are to naturally boost your libido. You probably have some ideas or have heard of some things. So tell me in the comments below, what have you used that has worked to help increase your libido naturally? And tell me in terms of libido, what other videos would you like to see next? And what are you gonna incorporate into your life? If y'all wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, definitely check out my course, The Reclaiming Menopause Masterclass. That's where I teach women who are interested in starting on hormone therapy exactly how to figure out what their exact regimen should be, what kind of formulation of estrogen, progesterone, do you need testosterone, and how to get this from your doctor. So if you're interested, check that out. Thank you guys again for watching. I can't wait to create this new setup in the background for you guys and with you guys. And please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I really appreciate your subscription, your likes and comments, and I'll see you guys next week for a brand new video. Bye everyone.